The latest example of authoritarian censorship by the most transparent administration ever has been defeated. Now, this morning, the FBI and the Department of Justice released a partial transcript from the 911 call made by the Orlando nightclub shooter, Omar Mateen. And it's been our goal to get as much information into the public domain as possible so people can understand, as we do, possibly what motivated this killer, what led him to this place, and also provide us with information. Now, the attorney general said that this partial transcript was released to give people a sense of the motivation of the killer. But how are people supposed to know his motivation if you scrub all references to Islam and ISIS? This seems more in line with the Obama administration's uh, previous efforts to protect Islam. Following some backlash, the FBI and the DOJ reversed course, and they have now released the full transcript which, of course, tells us what we already know. So what do you think? Was this a wise move by the Department of Justice to let any future jihadists know that they're not going to be receiving any accolades for committing atrocity? Or is this another Orwellian rewrite of history by the Ministry of Truth? The DOJ replaced Allah with God in the edited Orlando transcript. So this is very odd considering the fact that a veteran was forcibly kicked out of an Air Force ceremony for daring to mention the word God. School children are no longer allowed to recite one nation under God, yet it's okay to edit God into the equation in order to suggest that a terrorist uttered these words when he did no such thing. He said, Allah Akbar, not praise God. So obviously by erasing ties to Islamic extremism here, anyone in the future looking back on this atrocity can recall that this was more about the nation's gun problem or about a young man who was dealing with some of his uh, sexual identity issues or perhaps even the evils of Christianity but not Islamic terrorism. Even the New York Times came out last week making excuses for radical Islamists by saying, hold up Christians, the Bible calls for the execution of gays too. It doesn't. But why is there such a push to demonize Christianity when the only countries currently executing gays, it's state-sponsored execution or just throwing them off of roofs are nations under Islamic rule. And also considering the fact that ISIS has just released another video threatening an attack in Times Square, as well as U.S. bases around the world, I don't think the administration can continue to pretend that not uttering the words radical Islamic terrorism will somehow magically make it disappear.